So the next, uh, the next version that I want to talk, so here we have the hypotenuse. Now, when doing the Pythagorean theorem, we called these legs, right? Because really, the Pythagorean theorem, all it is is leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. But now, we're not going to be dealing with legs. What we're going to be talking about, we are, they're all still legs. They're not, we're just going to give them different names. We're going to keep the name hypotenuse there. But now, I'm going to talk about the location of those legs. So let's talk about this angle right here. And so per that angle right there, we have, um, per that angle, we have two legs. And I want to talk about the location of the two legs. And the first location I want to talk about is right here. This side length is very important. This side, which is B, connects angle A to the right angle. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see how it connects? This side connects to the right angle, but it does not connect to angle A, right? Did you guys see that? See that? This side does not connect to angle A. It's on the opposite side of the triangle. The opposite side of the triangle. But this one connects the angle and the right angle. So this side length, even though it is a leg, is what we call the adjacent leg. All right? And it's really important. It doesn't matter, guys. Let's say we talk about angle B. And if angle B, here's A, here's B, here's C. If we're going to now talk about angle B, well, in relationship to angle B, is this still the adjacent side leg? Is this still the adjacent leg compared to angle B? No, it is not because the adjacent leg has to connect the angle and the 90 degree angle. So in this case, this would be the adjacent. So if I'm, if I'm referring to angle B, now side A is the adjacent leg. If I'm referring to angle A, side B is the adjacent leg. All right, we'll get a little bit more into this, but I just want to make sure you guys understand how to determine the adjacent legs or adjacent side. Like 